Hey, welcome back to Bear Squid. In this video, we're gonna be problem solving 3D shapes using Pythagoras. Coming up. This is a very typical exam style question. A room has the dimensions five meters by four meters. The height of the floor is three meters. Find the distance from a corner point of the floor to the opposite corner point on the ceiling. So we need to find out the length of AD. I'm just gonna quickly highlight that in red. So that's what we need to find, the length AD. So this is a two part process where we initially need to find this length here, the diagonal BD, and then we can use that answer to find out the length AD. So I'm gonna redraw the base of this room. I know I have five meters from C to D, and I know I have four meters from B to C. So that's the information that's given to me. Now, since I can see from the diagram, we have a right angle in this corner, which means that this corresponding corner here is also gonna be a right angle. We can therefore try to work out BD using Pythagoras' theorem. Now it's important to note that we can only use Pythagoras' theorem when we have right angle triangles. So I can go ahead and set this up because I know opposite my right angle is my hypotenuse. So I'm gonna go ahead and label that X. So I can set up an equation using this information and solve it using the Pythagorean theorem. So I would have X squared is equal to four squared plus five squared. Because I know from previous lessons that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the two legs. So the square of four plus the square of five is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. In this case is x. So I can simplify this by writing x squared is equal to 16 plus 25. And then x squared is equal to 41. And since I know that the inverse of x squared is to square root the opposite side, I can say x is equal to the square root of 41. Remember, we only take the positive square root since we know that the length is gonna be greater than zero, i.e. it's gonna be positive. So what we've done so far is we've worked out the length BD. Okay, and I've labeled that X. So we've worked out BD, and now we can use that information to set up a second triangle. Again, I know that this is a right angle, so I'm gonna be using Pythagoras to solve this. Let's label that diagram ABD as the vertices are given in our question. A, B, and D. Essentially, what we're working out is AD. Now, we know that the base, BD, is equal to the square root of 41, and AB was given to us in the question as three meters high. So the room is three meters high, and we've worked this out in part A, which is the root of 41 meters. At this point, you should be comfortable to set up the equation for yourself and solve it. So pause the video here and have a go for yourself. So I know that opposite my right angle is the hypotenuse. I'm gonna label that y. And then I'm gonna set up my equation as y squared is equal to three squared plus the square root of 41 squared. And if I simplify this, y squared is equal to nine plus 41. And then y squared is equal to 50. So therefore, y is equal to the square root of 50, given that y is greater than zero. So in order to complete the question, we should write a statement like this. Therefore, the required distance is the root of 50 or about 7.07 .07 meters. So just double check your work, see if you've got the right answer. And if you haven't, make sure you pause it and you look over my working out. Okay, problem solving part two. In the next video, I'm gonna be doing the following example. See if you can work this out for yourself now. And then when you're ready, click on the video link to part two and we can go through it together. As always, thank you for watching. If you found it helpful, drop me a like. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one.